Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. Let's get ready and go! Alright. So we got some crag lizards we don't need to worry about there. Nice, another little cave here. Let's see what's up here, shall we? Hey, look, a present. So the present there is some beef jerky. Yeah, I don't really need it. Oh, it's more of these guys. Holy crap. Come on, let's get them. They're screwing things up around here. Oh, and of course they run away again. Oh well, that's to be expected. But they've left this little thing up here. This In only a few seconds, this instant revitalizing device fully revitalizes you. Get it to the instant revitalizing device? Yes, sure, why not? Sweet. You're fully revitalized, but you're still hungry. Okay, we've made that joke once, we can get it out of the way now. Alright, <laughs> so uh, they left behind some weird looking stuff, some strange stuff you've never seen is lying here. Hmm. Alright, well I guess we should probably chase after these guys, what do you say? Let's get them. Oh, it's another one of those stupid flying things, come on. Why don't you come back down here and fight like a man? Or fight like a pig man? Yeah, so they take off, and again, there's nothing we can do about it. So as we go up here, we're actually going to see an enemy that's, uh, I think is actually familiar from the original Mother game. I snuck up on it from behind, somehow. Uh, a, a Titany, I guess you'd say. That's how I'd pronounce it anyway. Uh, more of this song, cool. Oh wow, three, that sucked. So we turned around and there he is. Uh, I'm pretty sure this guy is actually from Mother 1. I think he's actually one of the first enemies you encounter, so... Uh, go figure there, I guess. But he's really not that tough, doesn't do too much damage, pretty light as far as HP is concerned. So, uh, really no big threat to worry about. And we've got another new enemy here, if I can get him to come down. Get out from here. Ooh, nice, snuck up on him too, that's pretty good. Uh, so this is a balding eagle. Uh, really nothing, uh, too special to worry about here. See, just standard stuff. Nothing around here is really that tough. We're actually, I think we're probably pretty strong at this point as far as levels are concerned. Uh, I don't care about beef jerky. Yes, give up the beef jerky. So this is what the inventory does. It causes everything to last so much longer. We can also come over here to the right, and I think there's a present, yeah, down here. Some beef jerky, so. <laughs> uh, can we avoid him? Nope. Okay, let's keep on going then. I don't think there's anything else up here to the north. I, yeah, oh, there is a treasure. What do you know? Okay, let's get this present. Some beef jerky. Wow, what do you know? There's a lot of recovery items around here, huh? Uh, I'm actually going to just go ahead and use... Do we have any more nut bread? Yeah, just use one of these. Heal up a little bit and get our beef jerky. Cool. So we're very well stocked on recovery items at this point, which is pretty good. Oh, I thought I could get away. <laughs> a pretty funny exchange went on in that battle. Uh, I'll probably leave it in because I thought it was pretty hilarious, but... Alright. Oh, man, it's the baby Jago. I wonder what he's playing with there. Well, yeah, we pretty much knew it wasn't this little baby Jago who did that to Hinawa. wonder if it was uh, one of his parents. Alright, let's go check out and see what he was playing with. It's one of Klaus's favorite shoes. This belongs to Klaus, and that was a baby Jago just now. Klaus must be around here somewhere. Uh, yep, so we got the child's shoe. It's one of Klaus's shoes. Present over here. Uh, some nut bread. I don't care. Alright, I think, yeah, we're gonna encounter a new enemy here. It's actually a tree, and that's what it's called. You encountered a tree. It's like, really? Alright, and this one's got one of these weird variations of music where you have to stop, and I'm just, I'm not good at this song at all, so... Stop. And then pick up right there. It's so hard to time out, especially with the lag, so... I always end up losing my combo there. So, uh, this is another thing the trees do whenever they, uh, die. They violently burst into flames and cause... Yikes! Mortal damage, but, as I've already explained with the scrolling HP counter, we can just end the battle as quickly as possible and end up with, uh, minimal damage, so... Uh, I guess that's kind of their way of explaining it to you. Already went back that way, so let's head on. Oh, we got another one of these platforms here. Oh, man. Whew, alright, man, that was way too close for comfort. Tree called for help right before I killed him, and then I ended up having to <laughs> rely on Alec to heal me, so I definitely need uh, some of this healing here. Uh, let's use... Let's see, we have that uh, baked yam up here. Let's use it. Alright. 
Whew, man, that, that was really close. I was kind of worried there for a minute. Get some beef jerky to replace it, which is good. I love to just avoid these trees if I can. Hey, is that Klaus's other shoe? It's yeah, well, it is Klaus's other shoe. What do you know? Hmm, I wonder where he is. Klaus, we're here to rescue you. Where are you? Oh. Yikes. Holy jeez, man. It's a, uh, it's it's a, uh, it's a Drago, and it's half metal. What is that? That's not a Drago anymore. It's like the same thing with the Caribou. Oh, well, that's terrible. Because you know we were just playing with the Dragos not so long ago. They were such friendly creatures, and now they're attacking everybody. You know, there's no doubt in anybody's mind that this is the Drago that killed Anala. And if you look closely during that roar, you can actually see. Uh, his top left, from our perspective, his top left fang was missing. But now we're in a boss battle with the Mecha Drago.